Okay? Now, in the letter, in the letter, they said, or in the statement, they said, Dabo does not have the moral authority to question the setting up of a commission because he himself has been subject <coughs> of a commission of inquiry. Fine. If Dabo does not have the moral authority to do that, fine. But President Barrow does not also have the moral license or moral authority to set up a commission of inquiry to look into corruption allegations. Why? Because President Barrow himself is corrupt as child. His office is corrupt as child. The National Audit Office report is out there revealing everything about how the office of the president is dubiously involved in, our, in con negotiating that contract when the Ministry of Justice itself advised the government about going into that contract. And that is why I said, if Dauda Jala as Minister of Justice is a man of principles, if he has principles, if he doesn't have principles, I have no problem. But if really he has principles, he should have resigned. Because his position is not tenable. You cannot be the legal advisor to the government, the principal legal advisor to the government. Advise the government on legal matters and they disregard it, yet you continue. You're not a man of principle. So what is happening is, it's a very unfortunate. Like I said, the president has turned this country into endless commissions of inquiries, engage in continuous partisan political bickering, that is squabbles with the UDP, Gambia is bigger than UDP, Gambia is bigger than NPP, yeah. Gambia is bigger than President Barrow, Gambia is bigger than Usainu Dabo, Gambia is bigger than Talib Bensura.